Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the character creator tree to create any avatar, any of the 3D avatar and export it out and import into your Blender as the 3D animation software, 3D animation and 3D modeling software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. All right, now I, I already opened my character creator tree at here. This is a default avatar, of, and of course I can just create create some hair as the first step. Next step, I'm going to give this avatar some clothes. I'll click here, give some shirts. Next, I will give, give her a pants, a short pants. This over here. And then I will give her a shoes, this here. As demo, I, I will just adjust, I will adjust the body shape here. I click the full body and I will make her be pinned. All right, next, I'm going to ex export this out as FBX file. All right, as demo, I will export on my desktop. Click file export as FBX. And I want to export it as a T-shape, a T-post. So I have to click here, select the motion, and drag down. Here you can see a T-post here. I right-click and find the file. It will open by using the Window Explorer here. Next, export the FBX, the target tool the target tool preset choose Blender because you want to import into your Blender. So you export as a Blender as a target tool preset. The maximum texture size I will put 256 to make it smaller, convert image to PNG. And include the motion, I will use the custom and then I drag down, I open the T-Pose. It already opened by using the, the window explorer. That is the motion folder just now. The T-Pose is in this folder. I copy this folder location, Control C to copy. And then I back to here, destinations to open Control V and enter. Now I drag down, see the T-Pose, see here, T-Pose RL motion. Now I click export. And I will export on my desktop here. This is CC3. Girl, as the file name is demo. I click save. Wait for a while until it finish export. Next, go to the video descriptions. Go to my video, go to my video description. You can scroll down and you can see the Blender. You go and download the Blender for free. All right, this is the latest versions for this demo. This is 2.39. And then you you need to have the CC3 Blender 2. Go to this this link, download CC3 Blender 2. It will open by using your browser. It will open in a new tab once you click into that link. Now, download from here. Download as a zip file. 
this is one of a Blender's plugin. Download, it's a zip file. This is CC3 Blender too. As demo, I already downloaded. It is a zip file, and I already put this zip file on my desktop. CC3 Blender tools. Do not extract it. Just make it maintain as a zip file. You go to your Blender. Once you enter your Blender, click here. As demo, I will delete these three things: the camera, the cube, and the light. I will press delete to delete everything. And next, I click Edit Preferences. You are going to install that plugin. So click Install. That zip file, the Blender CC3 tool, is on my desktop. So I click the desktop and double click the CC3 Blender tool. Once you install it, install already here you need to search blender cc3 or you type cc3 you can see character cc3 tool make sure you take it after you take it close it now just have a look the fbx file is cc3 girl.fbx it is on my desktop in your blender you have to press your keyboard button and then you should be able to see the CC3 at here. Click the CC3 and click import the avatar. Import character. This FBX is on my desktop, so here I click desktop. Double click the CC3 girl.fbx. I double click it and wait for a while. It is loading. You can see importing character. Please wait for import to finish. Now you can see this CC3 avatar is already in the blender. Turn on the texture by clicking here. And wait for a while now. It is loading the texture. Wow, it is really pretty awesome. Now you can see all the texture are complete and the mesh are complete. And what about the skeleton? I click the skeletons. I click here. Sorry, I click here. The viewport display. I take in front, now you can see all the full skeletons in the CC3 avatar. Alright, now at the same time, all the body mesh actually are complete. Actually, here you can you can undress undress her. Let's say I back to, I now I'm in the object mode, I click the shirt, I press delete, then the shirt will be deleted. Then I use a control Z to undo. You see the pen also the same, I press delete. And also the underwear I delete. You can see. Actually everything everything are completed. And the whole CT3 avatar now you already completely export it into your blender. This is Blender 2.39. And now you can do your 3D animation or further 3D modeling addition. You can edit it as well. And that's all for today about how to export the CC3 avatar, character creator 3 avatar, and import into your Blender 3D animation software to do your 3D modeling job or on any of the 3D animations and game developing activity here. You can scrub it, you can create, you can use, you can use the texture paints or UV editing to re-edit the whole avatar. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.